Hi guys, I would like to discuss today an issue related to X-ray test management in Jira and more specifically, a failed test in a test plan. So let's say that I have a test plan, I have a 15 test and I have a two test execution, executions. Uh, some of the tests failed, some passed. So I got a new uh, version of the product with uh, improvement and the test now should uh, pass. What do I do? The simple way is to enter the test executions and rerun the test again and again till they pass. The, dis the major disadvantage with this uh, solution is that we don't know the real status of the version because that in the end, most of the tests, if not all, will be on pass and we will not know if we have a good version, bad version, and uh, if it is a bad version, we don't, uh, we will not analyze the root cause and will not uh, create new processes to improve. So what is the correct way to my opinion? And uh, this is a, an option that uh, X-ray supports and, uh, and supports and give uh, tools to do it, is to create a new test execution with status and choose only the failed test. Now, uh, this is the most uh, easy, maybe, easiest uh, solution. Uh, and there is no problem with this solution. But uh, you will have all, all the failed tests from all test execution in one new test execution that will get uh, automatically the name of the test plan. And you can run the test there. And if they pass, you will see in the report of the test plan that uh, only you will see the test only once. The number of the test will not change and you will see the last run. So the test run will show uh, eventually all the past tests. But the test executions, on the other hand, will uh, have the history of the failed test. Another solution is to uh, go to the test plan board, go to the execution with the failed test, let's say this one, uh, right click and choose create test execution. Here you also can choose which test you want to uh, to take from this uh, tree. So if we choose fail, we can give a, a name with a, a more uh, specific uh, meaning and create the test uh, execution. And now if we're going to the test plan again, regular test plan, regular view, you will see that we have a new test uh, execution. We can run it. And again, if it uh, pass, the number of tests didn't change. And if it passed in the test plan report, you will see that everything passed. And uh, But in the test execution, you will always have the history of the failed uh, test. So this is the, the, the part that I think we should uh, take. Thanks for your time.